All right. How we all doing today? Mm, that's good. Nice Sunday thing to do. I know we're not working on lawnmowers or talking about chainsaws or anything with an engine. But last night, my wife was taking a shower. She was talking about how the water was getting worse and worse and worse. I said, okay, not a problem. We'll take a look at it. Well, then it started giving me an idea. A lot of people have these pop-up ones. You know, where you can just lock it over and lock it up. Okay? And don't know how to do it. So then they end up calling a plumber and pulling about... Depending on what the plumber charges nowadays, I don't know. Don't need one. But the thing is, is behind us, what this can do is the hair will, there's a four grate. We'll see it in a few minutes. But there's a cross, there's threads in the center where this connects to it. And what happens is the hair gets all caught up and matted in there. So just bear with us for a few minutes and we're going to go through this and uh, figure out exactly if we can get it all cleaned out in a short amount of time. Now, I'm not going to show what's in there. I'll do that as like a bonus footage so you don't have to see it because some people's stomachs, but what I am going to do is at least show you the process of going and taking that out. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, to do this job, you're going to need flat tip, 9 sixteenths, any kind of pliers that you need. Now, what I do recommend is for the pliers, get your own washcloth, put it like so, okay? And what you're going to do is come down here, take the 9 sixteenths, move this around until you find where the 9 sixteenths locks on. And then you're going to just slowly twist it until you feel it loosen. Okay. There's that. Take a magic screwdriver. Get it inside. Pop that. Now while you're doing this, you're going to want to keep the... Uh, 9 sixteenths stationary right on it because sometimes these will have a chance of where it'll pop around oh Jesus God you don't want to look in here so but that's it quick simple and easy you put it in the same way you put the 9 sixteenths back on here okay start your screw and then you just go ahead and go in reverse and that's about it now, you got any questions? <laughs> I think it's pretty simple. I think you'll be fine. Now, here we go. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I don't want to touch this. Luckily, I got some new gloves in from. Uh, like I said. All right. Here's the bonus footage. Oh yeah. Well, I got some new gloves in from Amazon last night, or yesterday, actually. Actually, no, it was, yeah, it was Saturday they came in. I like these things. These are nice. They work good. Anything I'm working on that is I tend I don't have a problem with them. Now, set the, these tools aside, because we don't need those. Make sure you don't lose your parts to that. And then, what I have usually, some people use, um, oh, I don't know, a little plunger thing or a little scraper thing that collects the hair. I found that it don't work, especially when it looks like Chewbacca's trying to find a spot. And then you're going to need a trash bag or a regular old grocery bag. And then basically what you do is you come circling around. And what I normally do, will get it hooked in there and start rolling it. Isn't that pretty? That just makes you hungry. Now the thing is, is if it ever gets to where it smells, just run the water. The water will push the smell back down and keep it somewhat okay. But if you notice, that is all hair. Oh, yeah. But what you do is you got your fours down in there. The four crossovers I was talking about earlier. So what you do is then you go and you pull the hair off of those. Because that's where it's draped on. And then you just collectively get this. But I haven't done this one, I don't think, since winter. So I 
have been a little off my game. Normally on house maintenance, but I've been busy with everybody's equipment but my own house. So anyways, and the color and everything varies because now you can use these and go down deeper and pull the big wads of hair. Yeah, I know some of you are saying, damn, that's nasty. Well, yeah, you know what? Yeah, it is. But the thing is, is it's, it's life. My wife's been noticing the past couple years she shouldn't. So, but like I said, life you don't get all bit and pissed about this I mean this is because what we're gonna do after today is we're gonna switch so you see you just keep pulling all that shit out of there and it smells a little musty moldy and shitty and that's another way you can tell that if your uh, setup is getting a little nasty is that the water ooh, gets uh you start smelling a must in your shower and then that will tell you right there and there the water if you notice water is not being around here and you're not leaving sh washcloths and stuff in there so let me just use the water help it get it where it pushes it down a little bit like i said it's not too bad but what happens is, is that it'll follow the tube to the pipe. So then, what can happen in the further part is, let's say you really let this go. And, or you just clean a little bit right here. That wad of hair is going to go and get stuck. And then you are going to need a plumber or you're going to use Drano or what have you. And... Next thing you know, you got an expensive bill. The one important piece I forgot is a flashlight. Because what you need to do is be able to see everything out here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish this up. And then I'll show you what the inside looks like after we're clean. Okay? So hang in there. Okay. You can see, that's what your drain is supposed to look like. Okay. Nice and clean and pretty. Now all the hair is gone. Hope this video has helped y'all. I hope y'all have a great day. Now let's see if we can find some more house stuff to go through and help people with. Alright, you have a great day, okay? Bye!